Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bushi or Mushi and I hope that you subscribe. And if you're coming back to watch another video, thank you so, so much for stepping back by once again. So as you have seen by the title that today I am doing a little Q&A for you guys. If you don't know, I did put up an Instagram post. So if you have me on Instagram, you would know. So I am currently going to be answering these questions. Um, so yeah, without further ado, do let's get to it the first question says my first relationship so um my first my first relationship i was in grade nine i was 14. so it wasn't much of a relationship because i was just getting into the dating life and yeah we broke up after like a few months we started dating towards the end of the year, like August, September, right there. But towards the end of the year, we broke up. And it wasn't like, we didn't really break up. We grew apart, you know. You just grew apart. No one said, I don't love you anymore. I don't want to be in this relationship. It just, you know, yeah. My first kiss, well, my first kiss was with my first boyfriend. Um, I wasn't very scared. I, I didn't. We didn't plan it. You know, it just it happened. Um, don't worry. I didn't bite his lips or something. It just. I know. It just went on. You know, it just flew, and I was like, okay, I did it. You know, so <laughs> yeah, that was my first kiss. The other question says, what am I studying? I am doing a diploma in sustainable horticulture and landscaping. The next question says how old I am. I am 20 years old. The next question says the first time I was in a physical fight. Well, I grew up with boys. I grew up with my cousin brothers, Upila and Numazvi, and we would fight all the time. I remember this one day we would play we played a wrestling and then one of them jumped into my jumped on my stomach with, while the other one held my hands like this and it got really bad i passed out and my mother went crazy she hit them i will never forget the day i even think about it today and i laugh it out i'm like jeez but back in the day it was so serious because i passed out like literally so yeah and we they went growing up they would always um force me to fight not really forced they will uh, brainwashed me to fight with the guys that there were two guys my age um, who, were, who, uh, who were my neighbors at that time and sometimes I'd get beaten up sometimes I'd beat them up but I'm not a fighting type now I don't fight um, since I grew up I only fought once in high school when I was doing grade 8 we were fighting for a chair and this girl that I was in a fight with she started crying and she had the, she had it the easy way while I got the punishment well I should have cried also while I got the punishment but my parents never know about it even today I've never told them so yeah that was it um, what's the next one first heartbreak Woo! my first heartbreak I was 15 I was 15 it involved being in a love triangle so much happened that alone deserve its own story time so tell me if you want to hear a full story of what happened but um, it involved me dating two guys and it got bad it got bad i was 15 and yeah that's that's all <sighs> first time i disappeared at home for a guy i've never i'm a type of person who never just leaves without telling anyone even if i want to be away from home i come up with this very convincing story I'm a planner, I plan guys, because I just have anxiety when my mother called and now I'm not picking up the phone that alone, she's going to get worried and no, I don't want to put my parents through that, so no, I've never disappeared at home and not told anyone. So um, have I ever been a side chick? Guys, men are liars, oh, I thought it was water, I almost drank my hand sanitizer, men are liars, so... Uh, 
I got into a relationship with this one guy and um, the relationship went on with happiness and everything and then later in the relationship I found out that there was actually he's still seeing someone and they've been together for years so because I can't just press pause and delete that's not how feelings work uh, at first I like dumped him but I mean the heart wanted what it wanted so I decided to stay regardless but I mean it was heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak and I was like no I can't take this anymore so I got out of the relationship and yeah I got out I left him I stayed single for like three months and then he came back we fixed things and yeah the relationship lasted a long time after that we really dated for a long time and there was no cheating whatsoever after that not that i know of so yeah i've been a side chick before not by choice okay maybe by choice because i chose to stay regardless but i mean whatever um the first time i went to a club okay the first time i went to a club i was 18 um it was with my uncles and cousins um guys going to a club with my uncles is the best thing ever because guys i'm not the type of person who would go to a club with no money and say we'll find a guy to cover the bill i'm not the type of girl like I can't so going to a club with my uncles I know what they're gonna pay for the booze they're gonna pay for their hubby they have cars so transport is sorted out like Goom 90 and they love 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 clubbing so they are not those type of people who say number one o'clock hey we are leaving half past one we are leaving no honey we leave at four so gee. first time I went to a club it was I was 18 I was doing my first year it was so much fun we drank and came the morning came the hangover no i wasn't hungover no i wasn't but yeah i was 18. first time i drank alcohol first time i ever 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 tasted alcohol i was still in primary i think i was in grade five I was in grade five. It was right after Omemulo of my mom together with her sisters. So Omemulo is a traditional ceremony that is done for a Zulu girl when she turns 21 usually. So yeah, after the Omemulo, we found this one leftover wine. I remember very properly even today. It was in a Makwa red wine. It was so, so dark basically it was it didn't taste nice it didn't taste nice at all to a point where we added sugar because we wanted to drink alcohol so yeah that was the first time ever i tasted alcohol i was in grade five meaning i was 11 no nine no i was 10 years old Shit. I was 10 when I first drank alcohol but I mean it is what it is um the most heartbreaking thing I've ever had to deal with um the most heartbreaking thing I've ever had to deal with the most heartbreaking thing breaks up suck guys break up the most painful thing I've ever been through it's just a lot dealing with feelings having to tell yourself a good to I okay not just like with relationships I mean as let me not say breakups let me just say accepting that a person is no longer in my life that's the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with either by death either by breaking up friendship breakups relationship breakups just in general accepting that a certain person who used to be very close to my heart a person we shared emotions memories laughs cries pictures together music everything like 
that they are gone they are no longer in my life i just have to suck it up and just move on that's very heartbreaking for me so yeah um when am i getting my tattoo <laughs> oh i wanted to get my tattoo on my 20th birthday i wanted a tattoo that i can uh, dedicate to my father if you don't know i lost my biological dad at the age of four years old so i never know him only pictures and i just wanted to tattoo his name on my wrist um on my 20th birthday but because we were still on lockdown it was literally day three of the 21 days level five lockdown on my birthday so i feel like I've been making excuses because I felt like I'm not sure and I'm afraid of being judged especially by my uncle who hates tattoos one day I posted about getting a tattoo he literally sent me a scripture from the Bible wow. so getting my first tattoo I don't think you'll ever say goodbye to 2020 without me getting my first tattoo so yeah and I feel like immediately after I get my first tattoo, I want to get another one and another one and another one. So that also scares me. So we'll see when we get there. Um, and the last question says, am I seeing someone? Yes, I am currently seeing someone. And we have been together since 2018, obviously. Begu barafu, pariha. I am seeing someone so that's all for me today thank you so much for watching till the very end please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel um goodbye